All right, you guys, taking a look at uh, replacing the furnace. We're dealing with a 100,000 BTU furnace. Uh, Mike was over here, and I think we've had a couple other uh, times where we're fixing things on this furnace. Looks like three or four times on our, our side of things, but uh, reworking the PVC to get the proper drainage out of the um, well motor. There's water in the motor, and then getting it back to the floor drain that's just behind this furnace. Uh, we want to look at, um, we don't have a whole lot of room for the uh, base underneath the furnace, nor can we manipulate that um, coil enough. So we're going to look at moving the return over, putting in a 5-inch filter, putting in a spacer uh, to make the difference in that, and then modify the gas, modify the electric. We do have a combustion air vent here currently, but if we're going back high efficiency, we really need to run two pipes out. And after doing, when doing so, this is where we'll need drywall opened up uh, to run those two pipes. That's what we're looking at. If you go 80%, they go back into this a newer six inch T. Uh, then we'll put in our other combustion air vent and probably enlarge this one here. The spacing is 30, 31 inches. So. 32 by 6 on both of those. That'll bring us up to what we need.